Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last episode, we encountered another Grey Warden, this one going by the name of Janica, and she wants to wake Corypheus up so that she can use him to control the Darkspawn. Amelia! Amelia wants no part in that. She is on board with Elias. Corypheus needs to die. He can't be controlled. Now then, ooh. This, this was part of the prison's defenses from centuries ago. Old wards, unstable, dangerous. The wardens had them neutralized. Bringing them back to life will stall Janet. Okay, uh, whilst we're just pausing, does anyone have anything interesting to say? Whatever we're doing, let's get it over with. Fair. I fear what this emissary can push me to do. Oh, oh, Anderson. So we're taking the crazy ghoul at his word. Sounds like fun. I'm, I'm glad that Varric isn't, um, kind of pissed with Amelia, because Varric actually wanted to side with Janica. He was kind of like, oh, what's the harm in speaking with Corypheus, blah, blah, blah. But Amelia, no, absolutely not. Faster, faster. She cannot reach him first. I mean, wh what's she going to do if she reaches him? We have the key. Okay. Uh, nothing back there. All righty then. Come on, let's hurry along. Um, no, that isn't a viewpoint. I think there's one nearby. Right there. Now then, Amelia, what do you spy? If Larias is right about Corypheus, we're going to have to hurry. Yeah. Yeah, we really are. Come on. Do not touch anything. The old defenses are active again. Very unpredictable, very dangerous. There. That's the one Janica wants dead. Uh, guys, come on. Come on, you're working for her, really? You do Janica's bidding. Janica shared knowledge of Corypheus with the Carter. When she releases the master, we will be rewarded. Y'all are dumb. How many of you are there? I thought I'd dealt with you already. We may die here, but we will take you with us. No, don't! To arms, and pray that Corypheus honors our sacrifice. Okay. Double haste and go, go, go. Also, re-summon Poppy. There we go. Get in there, Dane. Keep on it. Almost down. There we go. Next. Everyone's doing A-OK -okay for health. And just you left, buddy. Trapped. Carter fools always where they don't belong. This shouldn't have happened. Hmm. Yeah, I think... I think right now, Amelia, she just... With everything that's happened, you know, her, her father's involvement, what happened with Anders in the last episode, having to fight him. Amelia, she just feels abject terror. Completely and utterly, so she's she's going to try and hide that. Don't touch anything is usually an invitation to touch everything. Didn't you know? Always a punishment for playing with things you don't understand. There is a way out. Deep down, a, a small memory, a fading thought. Uh, I've been here before. Yes. Yes. Think. There must be a way. I was here once before. A long time ago. Yeah. The magic. 
The magic flows in streams. They must be joined for the way to open. Yes. Yes, that's it. I do love that line. There's always a punishment for playing with things you don't understand. Do you? Do you understand, Amelia? Do you know what you're doing right now? Mm. Now then, let's see. I think we need to turn this around this way. I don't... I don't really remember this, but, like, I, I know what I have to do. It's pretty obvious. But there might be a, a fair amount of fiddling here. And then we need to turn it this way. And then you go... Round and round. And then you... Like that. It worked. There we go. We have a ways to go yet. Indeed, we do. The hawk was fascinated by the old construction, always stopping to examine the carvings. A learned man. Oh, that. I don't know if maybe Larias is trying to connect with Hawk or like I, I don't mean that in like a, a creepy way but y you know he, like, he's like oh I, I knew your father let me tell you things from the time that I knew him or whether Larias he, he could just be speaking you know he could just be rambling you know because he's he's so blighted maybe he doesn't even realize what he's saying but if it is if it's the former the, it, it's really not a comfort to Amelia. It, it's actually kind of having the opposite effect. It's just... Seeing this, this incredibly blighted man talking about her father in this terrible place where Malcolm did something that he always kind of rallied his children against. You know, it... It really isn't helping her. Come on, go, go, go. Okay, there we go, Dane. Get in there, puppy. Everyone's doing A-OK -okay for health. And, uh, what is it with the assassins going after my dog? Can you not? That's animal abuse. On him. There we go. And yes, Rendo. Oh, goodbye, Rendo. To Aveline. Aveline, I'm gonna move closer, so will you? There we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Heal yourself. There we go. Come on, almost there. There we go. Now then, uh, thank you for the loot. Always appreciated. A yoink. And a yoink. Um, this is, this is just a little room off by itself. We got a crate. Thank you. Helm of Weishaupt. The Labyrinth has claimed one Commander Asta. Ulrich tampered with one of the magical seals in this place and unwittingly released a demon upon us. Commander Aster ordered us to run. He would hold the creature back while we activated the prison's defences, trapping them both. The barriers came up and they will stay up. This was Commander Aster's last instruction and we will follow it to the letter. We are unable to retrieve the one commander's prized helm and the other trappings of his office. They will not be returned to Weishaupt and will remain with the commander wherever he may be. From a torn grey one report, the writing barely legible. So we have actually been finding grey warden regalia, the, um... Oh god, what is it? It's the something of the silent one. 
Yeah, gloves of the silent one. We also found the foot wraps of the silent one. I want to say the main chest piece can be found on the final boss. But I'm not entirely sure where the helm is at. Hmm. We haven't seen it. Or at least not, not that I've found. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anything. I'm pretty sure I've... You know, I looked at every room pretty thoroughly before moving on. Oh, oh well, if I did miss it, then there's not really much I can do about it now. Locks within locks. The warden set a trap for Corypheus and bound him in a prison of their own making. Beneath the free marches, they carved out a series of caverns, a veritable maze, and enchanted them. Wards within wards, locks within locks. Spells woven with the help of a powerful artifact they called the Key. All this to hold Corypheus. It seems that even that wasn't enough. One Commander Rhiannon writes in her private journals, Corypheus is too powerful. Nothing will hold him forever. The seals are already weakening. We must find a way to fortify them, and soon. From Janica's research notes, I... Amelia is just shaking her head at this. You Like, she says it herself, Corypheus is too powerful, nothing will hold him forever. So why is it that Janica thinks like, oh, I'll be able to bind him to my will? It's like, no, that's stupid. If, if these seals that were presumably created by a bunch of highly powerful, highly competent Grey Warden mages, if they couldn't hold him, then what's one woman gonna do? Even if you are the most powerful mage in all Thedas, what are you gonna do that a bunch of other mages couldn't? It. And I think Amelia, uh, she's agreeing with Larias. She's like, you've, he's been whispering in your mind, this Corypheus person, and you've fell for it, hook, line, and sinker, this, he's gotta die. He's just got to die. There we go. Now then, if... Mm, I Yeah, that's the way forward. If my memory serves me correct, there's a puzzle back in the main tower. Yes, for this. I, I remember what that is. I'll, like, I'll explain in a minute. But what is down here? <laughs> Hello? Hello, Darkspawn. Or Carter. A yoink. Hmm. I don't... I don't trust how quiet this is. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, what was that complex? Varric, if you would be so kind. Thank you. And nothing in here. Weeks down here. Working together. He never liked me. Too much bad blood. And why was there bad blood between you, Larius? Why, why was Malcolm unhappy with you? Also, you kept him down here for weeks. I don't, I don't know how long Amelia thought Malcolm was down here. As I said before, her thinking is a bit scattered. She's just so overwhelmed that I don't think she would have been able to, you know, kind of think logically and be like, hmm, well, he was sealing these wards and, you know, doing stuff with, you know, you know, binding demons to specific places. You know, you couldn't really do that in a day. You know, like, she she really wasn't thinking that clearly. So, again, to hear that her father was down here for weeks. He spent weeks of his life down here and he never told Leandra, presumably. We, we can't, you know, ask Leandra. So, Amelia is going to assume he never told his wife. He never told any of his kids this it, it is like losing him all over again. She's losing the memory she had of him. A change of course. I was wrong. We cannot control the creature Corypheus. 
Even our most powerful mages hold no influence with him. In truth, it is they who have been most vulnerable. A dozen times, those assigned to guard or study the creature have sought the key to free him. When they are removed to a safe distance, they remember little. They speak of a voice in their minds, a calling like that of the old gods, but it wanes outside Corypheus's presence. Darkspawn have attacked as well, seeking him. I can only assume they are summoned the same way. Somehow, his magic lets him speak through the blight itself, affecting any who bear its taint. This same power stays the hand of any warden who approaches to kill him. I must recommend that we seal this prison over and conceal its very existence. Corypheus must not be allowed to go free. From Warden Commander Danakin to the First Warden in Weishaupt, 1014 TE. So by this point, they've been studying Corypheus for about 10 years. I believe the earlier, the earlier letters we found were from 1004 TE. It was either 1004 or 1002, one, one or the other. Also, I... I don't think Amelia could pick up on this. Maybe she'd, she'd realise this later. At least we now know why the Wardens didn't kill him. They couldn't. They were physically unable to kill him because of his, his kind of blight powers. I, I imagine later on, Amelia will find this fact somewhat comforting. At least now she knows, okay, they tried to kill him but they physically couldn't do it. However, she is, at this stage, I think she is, she's rather disgusted with the Grey Wardens. She's lost a lot of trust. She's lost a lot of um, respect that she had for them. She never worshipped the Grey Wardens, but she did have a great deal of respect for them. They saved her homeland. And all of this, I think it's kind of made her realise maybe they're not heroes. Maybe, maybe they aren't the heroes we hear about in stories. Mm. Admittedly, that would, that thinking would make Artin rather happy and Wynne rather salty. God, the, the number of times Artin found herself face palming when Wynne was like, the Grey Wardens are heroes. And Artin's like, no, we're not. We will do literally anything. If I had to sacrifice 10,000 babies, I'd do it if it would stop a blight. I'm not a hero. None of us are. It, oh. Oh, when? Now then, I believe there is, I believe there's still one more nexus point to find. Hmm. Hello? Aha! There we go. Okay. Now then, I think with all three of those lit up, I'm going to very quickly dash back down to the, um, the main tower because I believe... Yeah, can you see there are more lines? And this is how we get through that barrier. We need to make all of the lines match up. Okay. Okie doke, let's see. Can I... Can I remember how to do this? The answer is probably not. Okay, so that's, that's where red has to go. That's where purple has to go. And green. Okie doke. Okie doke, let's... I, f I feel like we should do this one at a time. And we have... We have the most for red. So let's... Let's do that. Where is... It would help if I could see what... No, 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 don't... Don't speak to Puppy. Puppy is cute, but... Okay. And from here. Okay, come. On. 
Okay, so we need to get it. We need to get it over here. Got it. Got it. Got it. And one more, I think. Okay, and then this one needs. Come on. Where? There we go. Hmm. Yeah, we are never going to get it round that way. So, oh, this this could take me a while. Part of my brain is like, I'm sure the wiki will have the answer. We could just we could just look at the wiki. That'd be so much more convenient. And then. Hmm. Oh, we could get it round the side like that. Oh, that's... Now, I'm pretty sure... It... I'm pretty sure it has to go... Hmm. Okay, well, that... That synced up the red, I think. Maybe? I don't... No, it hasn't. I'm talking nonsense. Um, sorry about that. I uh, got a phone call. Um, yeah, I'm, this, this could take me ages. So you know what? You know, screw it. I'm right at the end of the game. I am once again going to go into my mind palace. That is totally not code for look this up on the wiki. 100% not cheating. Absolutely not. Mm. Gonna, I'm gonna point out the only, the only Callista plays promise is that no loot gets left behind. That, that is the only, the only promise I make. Everything else, uh, if I can type correctly, Dragon Age Two. This is Rhiannon's floor. Give it a minute, it'll load. It'll load up. Please, please let there be. <laughs> if there isn't a, uh, a picture for how this should look, I am, um, I will be very unhappy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, if we wait for the picture to load, oh, but... Which is the exit and which is the entrance? That's the question. Oh no. Okay, let's let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Um Okay, so there's a hole there, a hole there, which means <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do this based off of the red wire. Okay, so that okay. Okay, let's start up here. So the red wire wants to come this way. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Oh god, I've... Part of me's like, I feel like I've properly balls to this. There we go. Okay. Red comes through, then it goes up. No, 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 go up. It goes up, across... To this one, and then it goes... Again, please do the thing. It goes down by two. Excuse me. Okay. 
down by two and then across. And then from here it goes down. Oh, okay, so the red red one is complete. Now let's do uh da, 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 let's do the green. The green comes down from this top corner, goes down to that one, and then it goes across. And then it goes up and down. This is all right so far. And then it goes down the bottom like so. And then from here, it needs to go down. Um, Amelia, will you will you please interact with the thing? Okay, so it goes across, then down, and then this way. Okay, that is... Is that all of them? I think... Let me get back to my timer real quick. There we go. Yep, that's all of them, which means, I do believe, the barriers should have opened up. Or at least I hope so. God, Janica. <laughs> Janica's gonna be way ahead of us by now, but as, as I said before, what's she gonna do? We have the key. Since I've been this deep, but I remember. I remember every step taken with the other hawk. You were here with father. The seals are weakening, they said. Malcolm Hawk was chosen. A good man, but an apostate. Yes, I was here with him. Hmm. As, as I said, it... I, I get the feeling that Larias... I, I feel like he's trying to connect. I feel like he's probably been down here all alone for so long. And, you know, at long last he has company. And not only is it company, it's, you know, the child of someone he remembers. And I think he wants to form a connection. But Amelia, she just gets bad vibes from all of this. She doesn't know why her dad was down here. Why was he doing you know, blood magic. It's... It just feels wrong to her. You know, hearing Lariah speak about her father as if, you know, he knew him, that's... He shouldn't have known him. It's very weird. And you know what? I think I'm gonna leave this episode off right here. In the next one, can we reach Corypheus and take him out? Fingers crossed we can, but until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.